In today's video, we're going to take a look at the best new features that are available to you in Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects 2021. Alea and welcome on my channel where you can learn everything about filmmaking and visual effects. If you enjoy my videos be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you stay notified when I upload new videos. Also be sure to give me one of these if you want to support the channel. Alright so I know you're eager to see what's new so without further ado let's hop into it. So what I have here in my timeline and I'm just quickly going to mute here the audio is a video clip and it's already been cut together. So it's my last video that I've done for the Halloween special. And you can see that there are no cuts. So this might be sent to you for color grading or for visual effects and you will have to manually go in here and then go and find the exact cut period and then kind of manually cut it over here and continue doing that for all these different cuts. Now you can just simply right click and go to scene edit detection right here. You will get this option menu and you basically have three options. You can apply a cut at each uh, selected cut point. So it will automatically search for each cut and then make a cut for it. And then also create a bin of sub clips, which will give you a folder in your project manager with all the different uh, shots separated in them. So you can use them individually. And you can also create a clip marker at each uh, selected cut so you can not you can choose not to cut it but instead make a marker uh, for example if you want to uh, edit to the beat and you want to edit on the cut so something like that you could do as well um, so I'm just going to check on the first two and click analyze and it's actually super super quick and boom so here we are we have our cut and we can see that it's actually happening perfect it's a perfect match like our first cut now we have our second and it's just perfect. There are no mistakes. And I've also seen this in action in uh, combination with transitions and stuff, and it's actually super accurate. So the engine behind it is pretty solid, and this is actually something you could use in your day-to-day -day life. So this is great, because before I always had to do this manually, and trust me, I've done it more than I wish. Why didn't they release this earlier? Anyway, fantastic update, I love it. Um, so well, moving on. So right here you have the option to browse through all these songs that you can use in your project and you can license them within Premiere Pro so you don't have to leave your interface and that's actually really cool. Also if you like preview one, your video automatically starts playing. So it's an ideal way of really figuring out the vibe of your video. Before I had to kind of play it in Premiere and then kind of try to sync it on the platform that I was at and then try to match just to get an idea on how it would sound on your edit. And that struggle is completely gone. And like right here, you have this filter where you can choose your mood that you want to go for. Uh, you want to go for uh, the kind of genres and also you can choose your tempo so you can really search a specific tempo of a song and also the duration. Maybe you want a very short stinger. And then you can bring this down and try to find very short sounds right here. Oh yeah. So let's say you like a song, you can just simply drag it onto your timeline and boom, you have it here. Damn, boy. All right, so those were the updates for Adobe Premiere Pro. But before we continue with this video and move on to After Effects, we're going to talk about today's video sponsor. And today's video sponsor is creatorgalaxy.com. It's the one-stop shop for any digital content creator. If you want to create epic videos, Creator Galaxy is the go-to place for you. We offer templates, presets, pre-made packs, stock elements, and much more. We're not stopping yet. We also have super affordable prices for the products that we are offering and we stand for quality. So we don't want to offer you a million templates. We just want to offer you products that have been made by industry professionals. Anyway, if you want to check out more about creatorgalaxy.com, be sure to check out the link in the description below and you will find all the information that you need. So let's continue. Then for Adobe After Effects, there has been a huge improvement to the 3D workflow in Adobe After Effects. It was getting a little old, to be honest, and comparing to other software, they really needed to improve their 3D workflow and they finally did. So this is a quick scene that I have created here, uh, just using some images from pexels.com. I isolated them and I made them in a 3D layer. So if I would quickly rebuild this scene, I'm just going to delete everything and turn everything back to normal and just right click on everything, go to transform and reset that. Uh, this will be the image that I've built up. So I have my background with my sky here. 
I have my house, uh, which I cut out with a mask, just like the, the far distance of the image, and then a closer image here from the foreground. Obviously, it's a little bit rough. You can make it as however you want, actually. Um, make it as good as, one, as you want, like this plant. Everything is a little bit closer to the camera, so I want to create that kind of parallax effect. And then I have this fence, uh, which I combined with this top logo uh, right here. Well, this stop sign, and that creates uh, some kind of fence in front of my view, uh, so that makes it look a little bit more intriguing. So what I want to do is turn these into a 3D layer. Once I do that, I can now press C on the keyboard, my previous hotkey here for the orbit tool, but now you can immediately use it without having a camera added to your scene. You can see that it's playing super smooth. It's also going a lot smoother. And now you can take everything and kind of place it in Z space. So you want to bring this maybe forward, uh, the foreground, you want to bring that forward as well. And you have these new arrowheads that you can see right here, which is really, really cool. You can see that they have redesigned them a little bit. It's it's more intuitive and easier to use because you, because you can now do everything uh, right here. You can move it, but you can also rotate it without moving or switching tools. Uh, you can also scale it right here. If you go over this one, that would scale it on the Y position. You can also go in the center and move it all around. Uh, so you can really use these tools in a more intuitive way. And I really like this improvement to the 3D workflow because I, I never really enjoyed the workflow of Adobe After Effects when it came to 3D. So a lot more fun to play with 3D and After Effects from now on moving forward. And the other update is actually one of my favorite updates of all time in Adobe After Effects. I hate rotoscoping, I really do. It takes so much time and I don't have the patience for it. And then you have this roto brush, which you can try to use. And then I try to use it. And then like one hour later, after struggling so much, I realized that was not the good option. So now they have updated that roto brush. It's called the roto brush 2.0 and it's awesome. It's really fast, it's accurate, it does its job. And it actually also does some really nice edge cleaning effects. So here we are, and I'm going to just make this a little bit shorter, like four seconds is more than enough to show the purpose of this. I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to use my roto brush here. So I'm going to zoom out and I'm just going to drag over my actor here. And boom, it's already doing a solid selection. I'm going to select a little bit more here, holding Alt to remove the parts that I don't want to be included in the shot, make a double check if everything is really well put into the shot. And then we're going to just play it and let's see what that does. And then let's scrub through it. And oh my God, it's actually performing. And you can see like he's moving here and it's super accurate. We can also check right here that we have, we're currently working in the version 2.0. I would not know why you would still give this option because I literally never saw a good use for the first one. It was always something that messed up. So why would you still have that option? Okay. So we can go for the best quality. It's going to be a little bit slower, but if you want these super accurate results, then you can select the best here. We can also go now over here and use the refine edge tool. And this is something we can definitely use, uh, especially towards like next to uh, his beard here, because that has small detail in it. And you can see it's actually retaining all of that detail, which is crazy. We can go around the ears, around the hair, and you can see that it's retaining all that detail and that's crazy. So we're going to do that around the hair. We're going all around him and it's doing a great job at maintaining all that detail. So the suit is pretty solid so we can keep it as it is. Obviously it's up to you to really play with everything right here. And then here we can check how it looks and we can see that it's maintaining detail here. So I'm going to freeze my mask. So just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to end it here and you can just see how you can use this. And then we have one more update. We can actually use this in this technique, but we can uh, just click and create a stroke. And we can go into the shape options here. I'm just going to disable the other layer so we can really focus on that shape here and give it a certain stroke here in the stroke. We can uh, use some taper here. And this would allow us to really kind of get that end kind of tapered off. And you can round it up at the beginning. 
You can also add some wave to give that kind of liquid kind of feeling and you can also animate that if you want. And then if you use that in combination with some kind of something like a trim path, you can animate it on and off. So you can really make it appear on the screen however you want. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. Apart from that, I'm going to leave you with one of my latest videos, which is also pretty cool. You can go ahead and check it out here. And then I'm going to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, create epic videos.